Form 1, Second Term, Science, Chapter 4, Adaptations. From this lesson, you will get knowledge about how different animals adapt to their environment and how different plants adapt to their environment. What are adaptations? Adaptations are special characteristics that organisms have to help them survive in their environment. All organisms have adaptations. Those adaptations are help them to survive and thrive. There are two types of adaptations as Structural adaptations and behavioral adaptations. Under structural adaptations, it refers to the physical features of an organism, such as color, body shape, and body covering. Look at the penguin in this picture. Penguin having thick feathers. That is to prevent from too much cold. And the hummingbird. Hummingbird have thin and long beak. It helps to get nectar from flowers easily. And the camel. It having thick fur coat. That is also to prevent from cold. Then behavioral adaptations. It refers to the way an animal act to behave to stay alive. Normally wild beasts and wolves are traveling as groups that is to protect from the predators. And some animals such as Arctic ground squirrel sleep or become inactive during winter seasons. That is because to conserve their energy. How are the animals adapted to their environment? The animals who are living in water have several special adaptations. Such as streamlined bodies. This enables them to overcome water resistance. So they can move faster. Streamlined shape is narrow at the head and tail and broad at the center. Best example is fish. So the streamlined shape help them to overcome the water resistance and move faster in water. Next, bodies that store fat. The aquatic animals such as dolphin and killer whales having a thick layer of fat inside their skin that is to stay afloat in water. As fat is lighter than water, because of that thick layer of fat, those animals can stay afloat in water. Modified body parts. Some aquatic animals have special body parts. We call them as modified body parts. Those body parts help them to move in water. Especially the penguins, ducks and frogs having webbed feet and the tortoise having flippers and the whale having powerful tails. All these body parts help them to move in water. Adaptations for breathing in water 
So the aquatic animals who get oxygen from the atmosphere have nostrils at the tip or blow holes at the top of their heads. The aquatic animals such as crocodiles and hippopotamus have nostrils at the tip and the whales have blow holes at the top of their heads. These adaptations helps to prevent from water entering to their nostrils and blow holes. Breathing tubes Breathing tubes can be found in the animals who live below the water surface such as Rickler. Rickler is a life cycle stage of mosquito. This breathing tube helps to take oxygen from the atmosphere while they are in water. And then air bubbles. Some animals such as water spider carry in a bubble of air attached to their bodies. That air bubble helps them to breathe the water. Next gills. Gills help to take dissolved oxygen from water. Then the oxygen filled water passes through the gills and absorbs. These gills help for the respiratory process inside the aquatic animal's body, especially in fish. Adaptations for flight Normally, these adaptations are present in bats, birds, birds and insects. Strong wings and light body weight. Bat has very strong wings. And the butterfly has light body weight. So it is help them to fly easily. Next, feathers and flight muscles. Feathers are light. And inside the feathers, there is a muscle called flight muscles. These muscles help to warm up the feathers. So then the birds can fly easily. Hollow bones. Bones of birds are hollow. Not like human bones, the bones of Birds have hollow like structures that is because to reduce their body weight and make flying easier. Adaptations to resist the extreme cold. Animals who are live in very cold environments having these adaptations. Insulated layer of fat. Walrus, seal and whale having this adaptation. They have insulated fat layer under the skin. It reduces the heat loss from the body. Thick body covering. Some animals have a thick body covering with fur and feathers. Air is trapped in thick fur and reduce heat loss from the body. Musk ox, polar bear have thick fur coat and penguin have thick feathers. These all adaptations are to reduce heat loss from the body. Hibernation Animals such as black bear hibernate or go into long and deep sleep. Then what happens? Then the breathing rate and heart rate is decreasing. So then their body temperature also drops down. This hibernation process 
is help those animals to conserve the energy inside their body. Migration Some animals migrate before winter to find food and be protect from cold. They leave cold areas and come to warmer areas. Adaptation for coping with extreme heat. Normally, the animals who are live in extreme heat conditions have these adaptations. Reducing water loss. Desert animals sweat and urinate very little. This helps to reduce water loss from the body. Especially, the desert camel have several special features to resist extreme heat. The camel's hump stores fat to provide the camel with energy to survive long periods without feed. The camel has long eyelashes. It helps to keep out sound, sand that might fly into its eyes. The camel's feet are padded to prevent the camel from sinking into soft sand. Staying in the shade to prevent from overheating in the daytime and Come out for look for food at night time. Although the daytime is very heat, the animals such as desert snake and desert lizards, they are not coming out. But in the night time, they are coming out and go to find food. Getting rid of excess heat. Some animals such as Desert fox have large ears to help release excess body heat. Obtaining water. Some animals such as desert tortoise get water from the food it eats. Also dig shallow pits to catch as much as water. Adaptations for obtaining food Animals must be able to get food to feed themselves. So food is very essential for their survival. So some animals have special body parts which help them to find food. Giraffe's height enables it to reach the high branches of trees and it has long tongue that can grab the branches and pull them closer. And the tongue of the giraffe is tough and leathery and it helps to prevent from sharp thorns. In hummingbird, as I told you before, it has long and curved beak to get nectar from the flowers easily. Look at the spider monkey. Spider monkey has a flexible tail to move from one tree to another tree. Predators. Who are the predators? They are the animals that feed from other animals. They have various adaptations. They have strong muscles, jaws and claws to grab tightly the prey and to kill their prey. That eagle have strong muscles and claws. The frog has a sticky tongue. Catch the prey.
Next ways of catching prey. They must be able to move fast to catch their prey. Cheetah, lion, tiger. They are moving fast to catch their prey. Cobra, rattlesnakes kill the prey with venom through their bite. And some animals such as spiders trap their prey on their webs. And some animals have powerful sense of smell, hearing or sight to track down the prey. What are the examples for that? The polar bear, bat, eagle has powerful sight and powerful senses. And sharp vision to catch the prey. Hunting in small groups. Wolves hunt in groups. It enables them to catch bigger and stronger prey. Adaptations for protection from predators. Speed is very essential. Deer sense danger and it will run away quickly to escape. Defenses. Some animals are moving slowly when escaping. They have developed ways to adapt that. Porcupine has spines on the body and some releases a foul smelling liquid to protect from predators. Camouflage. Some prey can Conceal or hide themselves to reduce the chance of being spotted. That means they change its body color, shape or texture to match with the surroundings. Lizard, cuttlefish, camagand is best example for this. Can you differentiate leaf insect and stick insect from their environments? They are same as their surrounding. Look at the leafy sea dragon. It has the structure of seaweeds. That is how they adapt to their environment to protect from the predators. False features having huge eyes and peacock butterfly can scare the predator with the help of that huge eyes. Look at the bearded dragon. Its mouth can appear bigger and scare the predator. Living in groups. Some animals live in groups. This way they can look out for predators and protect one another. And there are adaptations for free reproduction also. Some birds and especially like peacock and some animals have attractive body covering to attract their mates. Males are more colorful than females. Females are attracted to males who have bright colors. Special scents. Some animals such as Cecropia moth release a special scent to attract the males. And some animals such as chin strap penguin show courtship behaviors. To attract the mates. Like animals, plants also have various adaptations to survive. Adaptations for obtaining sunlight. Plants need sunlight to carry out the process photosynthesis. So 
So the leaves, branches of plant should be arranged in a regular pattern to receive the more amount of sunlight. And that the plants have weak stems and non woody we call them as creepers and climbers. They are able to creep that crop. So they are climbing the walls and get support from the other trees to obtain enough sunlight for their processes. And some climbers have tendrils which are called as modified leaves and they also grow into get a support from another tree and they climb vertically to get more sunlight. Adaptations in water plants. Water plants also need sunlight to live. They also need to carry out the process of photosynthesis. So the aquatic plants such as water hyacinth and water lily have wax leaves. Those wax leaves act as waterproof substances to prevent from getting soaked. And the hydrilla has air spaces on its stem and it helps to keep them upright while being supported by the water. Adaptation in desert plants Some desert plants have extremely long roots that grow very deep to reach underground water sources. Leaves of some desert plants such as cactus have wax coating which help to minimize water loss through transportation and they have green stems to store foods and spines like structures to prevent from water loss. Adaptations for dispersing seeds Some plants like burdock and lamb grass they are having tiny hook like structures Fine like structures and those structures can attach on the fur and the feathers of the animals and can be dispersed. And some plants such as jackfruit they have fleshy and juicy fruits. So animals eat those fruits and with the feces of the animals those seeds can be dispersed. And animals eat those fruits and throw the seeds. Away. The fruits such as berries will be swallowed by the animals and the seeds are passed out with the feces. Then the some plants such as shoria, anxana and dandelion disperse through the wind. They have wing like structures, very light and small bodies that have specially adapted to float in wind. Some plants such as coconut, mangrove plants, they are dispersed through water. They have very lightweight and fibrous like structures. Some plants such as balsam plant disperse the seeds by splitting off the fruit. These fruits contain pods. When those pods become dry and break down, then the seeds come out with a force and spread away from the parent plant. Adaptations for pollination Some plants are pollinated by birds and bats and most plants are pollinated by insects. Insects attract the flowers because of their bright color petals and aromatic scents. 
How are different organisms suited to their habitats? There are various habitats present in the environment. Pond habitats, green habitats. So, in a pond habitat, there are various animals and plants are living. So, such as grasshoppers, frogs, ducks, plants uh -huh. like hybrids. So, we will have a look at that some special animals who are living in the pond habitat. The frog, grasshopper, boatman, they are having special features. Web feet in frogs, large eyes in grasshopper and the water boatman carry a bubble of air under its body. So they are special adaptations. And next the duck also having web feet and oily coating and the water lily has roots and waterproof leaves and hybrilla has air spaces on its stem so those are the special adapts in a green habitat green habitat is usually warm with many trees and bushes the red tree is a large tree that makes home to many organisms. Many organisms are living in these green habitats. So we will look at animals, animals and plants which are living in these green habitats. Orchid plants. They get support from the other plants to get maximum sunlight. They have very bright color petals to attract the pollinators. And also the a special petal on the flower act as a landing platform for the insects. Then the honey bee is a pollinator and it helps for the pollination process. It has a yellow and black strips to blend in with the colors of flowers. And also we will take the grasshopper. Its body shape and color help to blend into the surrounding and it can jump into high levels to prevent from the predators and next the spider it making webs to catch the face and the birds such as miners and they build the nest on the holes of the trees and they eat insects worms and pick up fruits and seeds help for the seed dispersal also. So I think you have gained a good knowledge about the adaptations which are present in plants and animals. So thank you for listening.